Hey, what's up? My name is Daniela and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will be answering the questions to the end of the year book tag because the end of the year is quickly approaching. How did that happen? And this tag is perfect to do when the last quarter of the year is approaching because it's all about transitioning to the last quarter of the year and the rest of your plans for the year. This tag was created by Ariel Bisset quite a few years ago, so I will link the original video in the description. But yeah, with that any further ado, let's look at the questions. So question number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So I don't like to read books for many many months. I usually try to either finish them or the end of them, but sometimes usually when it's non-fiction it can really drag. So I have a couple that I started that I would like to either finish or DNF, like either is fine. The one I'm currently reading most actively is Algorithms to Live By by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths and I would definitely like to finish this one. This is a non-fiction about computer science algorithms and how they can help us in everyday life and I'm currently on page 191 and like at the, at the end there's the reference and stuff so yeah i don't have that much to go to finish this book so yeah this one is definitely one that i would like to finish and then i have a couple that i'm not so sure i will be finishing and the first one is hashtag girlboss by sofia amoruso so i started this one kind of randomly i had it on my kindle and i guess i was born like on a train ride and I didn't have anything physical with me so I just started reading it and it is quite entertaining I have to say at times so this is a non-fiction memoir kind of by the woman who started the nasty girl clothing brand which I don't think I've heard about like before starting re reading this book or before I learned about the book so there was some controversy both like about the brand and about the hashtag girlboss. It was also published in 2014, so some of the things might be dated, the situation has changed, etc. But yeah, it was just like a fun shut my brain off uh, train book. But I haven't read it for a while and I don't know if I will finish it. And then we have Little Black Book, a toolkit for working women by Otega Uvakba. And I started this book, but I definitely wasn't in the mood for it. So this is a little non-fiction book full of tips about your working life, as the title suggests. And I think I heard this book recommended on Kayla's channel over on Books and Lala. And I just read the beginning on my Kindle a few weeks or months ago now. And yeah, I wasn't in the mood for it at the time and haven't been in the mood for it since. I think it started in a way that left me wondering if like since it is so short and like the advice is so bite-sized if it's going to be really like surface level or if I'm gonna get anything new from it so yeah again we will see if I will continue with this book the author also has another book that is called we need to talk about money which I'm more interested but like ideally I would at least finish this book. <laughs> Question number two is do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So for many years I wasn't really reading seasonally so in many years I would say no but then thanks to booktube I realized that it can be really fun to read seasonal books and that especially with autumn like the ugly side of autumn and winter and Christmas it can really help me to read some fun season appropriate books to get into the atmosphere and just uh, cope with the cold better because I don't enjoy the cold months. So yeah, anyway that can make it more pleasant, I will take it. I don't really love horror or overly spooky books, so I'm gravitating more towards the like fantasy, witchy, cozy <laughs> side of things. And this autumn, it is autumn now, I have started reading Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So I have read the first book a few years back and I haven't continued with the series. And now I want to continue with the series so I'm refreshing my memory with this reread. And this is a middle grade fantasy about a girl named Morrigan Crow, and she's the girl's child. She's supposed to die at her 12th birthday. And then right before she's supposed to die, 
she is whisked away into a magical world and she's supposed to go through some hard trials to get into this wondrous society and finally find a place in the world. I'm really enjoying my reread, I'm reading it quite slowly but now I'm kind of getting more into it so I'm on page 151 and yeah it's really magical and whimsical read and I think it's pretty perfect for the autumn. And then soonish after that I want to continue with the Wondersmith which is book two and yeah I have this beautiful book that I got second hand. I don't own book three yet but book four is supposed to come out only next year so I have a lot of time to catch up with the series. And then for the witchy books I have The Kiss Chorus by Ellen Sterling. So this is book two in the The Ex Hex series, the first book being The Ex Hex, which I read last year, maybe, or the year before. And I really enjoyed it. I think it was four stars and it's about a small town and this family of witches and then some male witches appear and it's a romance. <laughs> With this series it's a lot about the setting and the atmosphere and the vibes and a bit of the magic but it's not overly spooky, the plot isn't like super complicated and then you have the Swanworthy romances. So yeah, definitely looking forward to reading this second book in the series. And then the second witchy book on my radar, which I don't have yet, because I'm the first in the line in the library, so we'll see if the person who has it currently uh, will return it on time. But it is A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating Demon by Sarah Holly. So I've seen several people recommending this book. I think Victoria from What Victoria Red really liked it. And it just sounds really nice and witchy and magical. So I don't know much about it, but... Yeah, for me, I just need to know the keywords. So, adult romance, witchy, fake dating. I don't need to know more. Also, the cover is cute. So, yeah, I hope I will get to this book and will be able to read it. Question number three is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Well, I'm definitely not waiting for one because I had to look up what is coming out. Then I remember that, of course, <laughs> Hard Supple Volume 5 by Alice Osman is coming out this year. So yeah, I'm waiting for that. I just forgot that <laughs> it was happening, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So as you probably know, it's a young adult graphic novel series about two boys who fell in love in high school. I think most of us are waiting for the new volume, but also I still haven't finished the season two on Netflix. So I'm fine for now, like I need to catch up. And when looking up which books are actually published in the last quarter of the year, I found out that a new Beth O'Leary book is about to be published and it's called The Wake Up Call. So I really like Beth O'Leary's books. I haven't read all of them but I gave The Fletcher five stars. So since then I'm kind of trying to read all of her books. And apparently The Wake Up Call is an adult romance or adult contemporary. I'm not sure how big the romance will be in the book because some of her books are more on the contemporary side and not like straight up romances. And in this book we follow two receptionists who are arch enemies. So yeah, we have that enemies to lovers there and it is a busy season. It takes place over Christmas. So Christmas themed book, yes. And they kind of compete, I guess. And yeah, maybe they will get to know each other more during this busy period. And actually it's supposed to come out on September 26th, which is today. <laughs> so yay, I could get it. And the second book I found during the search is Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake, which is book three in the Bright Falls series. So I have read book one in the series, which was called Delilah Green Doesn't Care, and I loved it. And I can't say I'm like eagerly awaiting book three, when I haven't read book two, but it's definitely an exciting release that is coming out October 24th. And yeah, apparently in this volume we follow Iris, who is a friend of one of the main characters from book one. And these books are really fun, they're queer, they're pretty steamy, and they also deal with like complicated relationships in family and otherwise. So yeah, I really need to get my butt into gear and read book two so that I can read Iris Kelly. And also, I have seen some of my online friends like reviewing it and so I didn't realize it wasn't out yet 
like a Bentley and they had arcs, but yeah, something to look forward to. Question number four is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So I will be talking kind of generally what types of books I would like to read before the year is over. So firstly I want to read a book to finish a series or to catch up on a series because that's one of my goals for this year and I haven't quite finished it. I think I said I'm going to finish or catch up on a DNF five series. Yeah, and I'm not done with that goal, so it would be nice. Then I would also like to read another book with disability rep, at least one, and obviously any disability rep is good to read about, but ideally it would be something I can relate to. So it could be migraine rep or celiac disease rep or some other stuff. So yeah, that would be really nice. And then, very generally speaking, but I like to plan it, is to read a Christmas themed book. So yeah, as I said, it really helps me to get into the Christmas mood and to enjoy the cold months more. And I have a book that I have been wanting to read for like five years. Hasn't been out that long. Lol, it has. It was literally published in 2018. That was a weirdly accurate guess. But it is One Day in December by Josie Silver. So yeah, I've heard about this book year after year and it just sounds so good. I don't, again, know that much about it. I'm just really drawn to it. And also I don't want to like build it up in my head indefinitely because then I will end up being disappointed, likely. So yeah. This year I'm actually going to read it. Question 5 is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And I'm always a bit confused about this question because in an ideal case the answer would be like, obviously like any book I read could end up being my favorite book of the year. And I'll admit that some of the books this year have hit me pretty hard, so it might be a bit difficult for a new book to become my new favorite but until the clock strikes midnight on new year's eve any book i'm gonna read can definitely become my favorite book of the year could it be some of the books i talked about in this video or something completely different we will have to see and then the last question is have you already started making reading plans for 2024 not very concrete plans but considering how i would like to wrap up my reading for this year I would like to start kind of fresh next year and probably buy more books than I have been buying this year because yeah I haven't been getting that many books because I've been mostly reading my physical TBR so yeah I'm kind of looking for a fresh start but not really any concrete plans yet I have a couple of books on my mind that I'm really interested in that I'm probably not gonna get to, at least not all of them, uh, by the end of the year. So these will be probably some of my priorities for the beginning of the year, but yeah, for the rest of the plans, I usually think about it more like come December and January, so not yet. So yeah, those were all the questions in this book tag. If you feel like doing it, consider yourself tagged. Let me know your thoughts or feelings on anything I mentioned in this video. Or just leave me an emoji to let me know you were here. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!